All right, day seven. I think we're going to get a lot done today, Mike. I don't know. Mike didn't sleep too well. <laughs> I don't think Matt slept all that well either. I'm going to tough it out. A little ice maker issue. Yeah, notice how he didn't get up to do anything about it. He just kept... <laughs> <laughs> the other night, I got up to turn it off. And, uh, yeah, anyway, today's day seven. We're uh, buttoning up the remaining upper cabinets here in the wash bay. We're going to put these timbre doors over on this wall. Uh, Kyle's working on the electric, like the charging stuff, uh, and then we can go into this room here and start to dig through all the detailing stuff. I actually printed out the fresh Matt Mormon Master Collection, which is uh, now up to date, fresh, and actually the whole OG team is back there working on it. So I printed this out, see what he has, what he's missing. Uh, you know, Fred has some preferences that are outside of mine, which I guess is okay. We can let him do that. Um, and, but we're gonna go, I'm gonna go through, use this list, like much like I did on day six, went through the Milwaukee list. I uh, printed this off, so we'll go through the detailing list. Uh, and so, because Fred's been living in like little um, bins for several, I don't know, a year or so while building this place, uh, we're gonna unbox and uncrate everything, get it all laid out, work through that. Uh, so after we get these, I talked Mike into holding off on the Prevost for a few minutes, we'll do these uppers, and do the upper cabinets. I took his wrench in the knees. <laughs> I'm walking around this. I got to do the intro, Mike. Yeah. And so once we get these done, uh, Kyle and I can go back to the stuff that Mike doesn't value, which is the uh, the organization of the. the, uh, the I value stuff. it. I value it. And so it's just valued lower than the certainly the, the priority stuff. Certainly. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. I would argue we use detailing stuff way more than we use air. So if he didn't have an air compressor, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, I'm not just doing that. I'm doing pressure washer too. I think you use a pressure washer once in a while. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Anyway, we're working on stuff. Can you get it done? What's that, Michael? Well, you know. I'll just continue to do the man's work, and uh, then uh, they can do their organization after the fact. No. <laughs> there is no after the fact, Mike. That's the problem. There's well, only, after I install. There's only the during the fact. And, and so after I install these, set, the said cabinets, will, you can come through and like do your thing. 3,200 miles away. I do appreciate your organization, even though I was giving you a riff, mm -hmm. ripping you about it. No, I like, I like it. All right, so now what? You want to, we want to put the third one here? I think we should. Yeah. Hey, Kyle. You don't have to ask him. We just do it. We're designers. Well, it overhangs this, so if you put buckets, park buckets under it, it look good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's put it up there. Let's do it. What? What are you laughing at, boy? You're going to have to say something. I can see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, little, I'm a little salty this morning without <laughs> my sleep. <laughs> I'd say I'm not so icy. Or just, yeah, I, I get it. Okay, icy is good. Yeah, okay, those are some nice jeans. What brand jeans are those, Maddie? I'm not sure. Those aren't Japanese spec jeans. These are American spec. Yeah, I like that. I just can't believe how good this green is finished. Like they're finished. Remember mine? Like yeah, I remember. Remember it was in the upper cabin. It was missing. Yeah, yeah. drove bit fell out over there somewhere. Do you want the dull one or the duller one? The dull or dullest? That's the that's the that's the dull -est. That's the dullest. Okay. Dull, kind of like your temperament this morning after. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like what? <laughs> I bet. <laughs> what? I said dull, kind of like your temperament this morning. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll wake up the rest of the way in a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, we got these bros. All right, well, we got to get a height. So. Let, me take this, let me take this two before down. Mike, what is this? Two before. It's a two before. <laughs> when we butt them up next to each other, it just doesn't, they're all wobbly and wonky. They don't want that's what I'm saying. Should we do like a, a, a four this is inch? This a four inch space. So we do this one four inches, this one four inches. Or, what do you guys think? To me, visually, I mean, again, you guys are much more, I mean, to me, that's just fine. You know? Yeah. As a matter of fact, if you'd have just done that and not said anything, well, maybe I'd have said nothing. I think that's actually a good call. Maybe even six inches, Mike. 
Because <laughs> if you ever do have an issue with the roll up door, yeah, yeah, let me hold it. You can take a look at it. Let's, yeah. let's bump it over six inches. So what does that look like? Yeah, I think that looks better anyway, honestly. Yeah. All right, so these timbre doors, these are Sonic MSS Plus. So everybody was saying, well, how did you get MSS Plus in this color? Well, he had them custom powder coated on his own. So he had his local powder coating guy do this. But these are the timbre doors, and then he modified them and had shelves made So because they don't come with shelves. Uh, and so... We couldn't mount them. They're not really designed to be mounted next to each other. Uh, and so what we decided to do is go with six inch spacing and kind of spread them apart. I mean, we could have shimmed them, but I, uh, to make them on the same plane, but they're not, you know, they're not very light. And I think this looks better anyway. And like Kyle was saying, to service the Tamador, if ever this screws up, yeah. it's nice to have the access. So actually it looks better like this anyway. I'm just uh, mocking up for the inlet. So that's where we're gonna be. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna run Prevo down this wall and then I'm gonna 45 and 45 and then 90 into this. A little bit of figuring. We're gonna have a lot of wall touch up to do. <laughs> this one thing about flat paint, as soon as you touch it with something, it leaves a mark. I think I'm gonna work on this, even though I need to I have multiple jobs going on at the same time. Matt, I was gonna start on the Prevost today and then we ended up installing all these uppers, so I just finished that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so then I'm gonna work on this a little bit and then I'll be back in the, uh, in the main garage and let's work on the rest of that Prevost. Okay. And then I have to install this hose. I'm waiting for a couple fittings from McMaster Car. Um, a 3 8 high pressure coupling to connect two hoses together and a plug, I'm putting a pressure plug in here because this is not used right now yeah. so rather than just relying on the valve alone I'm gonna put a plug in there what's that for again it's for that's for future boom pole yeah. and this is feeding that front that's the one that goes sleeve through all the two inch prevos that feeds up front by that there's um, uh, bucket filler air and um, pressure washer up there on that wall yeah it's coming together a lot of plumbing of this place. And then I still have to run, see where that water comes out. I still have to run Prevost over here and flex line. So this will this will go in here. Something I think maybe like this, I'm guessing. So yeah man. How else is Mike feeling today? Feel better now. Better? Yeah, the ice the ice machinery. <laughs> The ice machinery kept me up. I wish the bakery was open today. Why can't we go? It's closed Mondays or Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Mm. It's open again Thursday. We have a full day Thursday. So we'll need to go. We'll have to go. Make one more run and then I'm gonna buy some to bring home. To go, yeah. 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 I have a carry on they can go in. Yeah. That's the real reason you guys want an extra inning. That's that's, that's what no, reason. actually it was just so we, uh, we just wanna hang out with you, Fred, honestly. <laughs> We're gonna just go ahead and move into the guest house. <laughs> we'll be your we will be your property ter caretakers. Yeah, I do too. I do too. It's cool. It's cool. I thought I thought I'd like just you know like Matt's white cabinets are nice. This looks good though. All right. Well, I'm gonna to get to Carry on. get to getting. I might go for a snack. Yeah, you can go for a snack? Yeah. I could go for a snack. Yeah, especially if it was a... Uh... I looked and the bakery box is empty. So someone, Matt Mormon, ate the rest of the pretzels. They're gone, though. There was, a, there was a good six cookies in there. I didn't even oh, those are, I didn't have one. I didn't have one either. No, I think so. Maddie was listing off all the treats he had yesterday. Yeah. That, I think that was part of the list. Part of the list. Yeah, yeah two bags of chips and all those cookies. I'm kind of feeling guilty, like I, I might have helped throw them off the wagon. I'm gonna share it, Maureen, will, Maureen and I will both have one of the, uh, the sticky buns. I wanna experience, have her experience it with me. We'll do that with the melted butter on there. Actually, no, I take that back. She doesn't like nuts. I have to get her the non-sticky buns, but whatever. It, they're, they're, they're almost as good. Mike, we need to start a cinnamon roll channel. People have been really- We'd have travel the country for the best cinnamon rolls. And people could give us their suggestions. Oh, yeah. try cinnamon rolls in my neighborhood. 
and we can do that. Well, I, we I don't have to know, just fill it into our garage build, so whenever there's a garage build, we have to ask. Where's, where's the closest where's bakery? Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. Yeah, we because, should. I mean, and we need to start. We need to start a playlist of just cinnamon, cinnamon roll reviews. reviews yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, Andrea's making a short on your review from the last episode. Yeah, that's. It was gonna hard to beat. I, I, you notice I left it at nine point yeah. nine just in case we find something better. But uh, thus far. I may have to shift the scale, but thus far, that is the best Cinnabon. Cinnabon, oh, people are crazy. trash. I, I mean, they're nasty. And you watch how Cinnabon makes them so much margarine and crap they put in those things. It's not a real deal. No. Right. I could go on and on about Cinnabon. But you see, I'm passionate about Cinnamon Rolls. So my, my point was that I'm going to bring them, bring a couple home. Maureen and I will have them, one each. And then I'm, then I'm cutting it. No more sugar. All right, I'm going to join you. Off the sugar, buddy. Going not, I'm not going full carnivore, but I'm going carnivore plus vegetables, back to that. Yeah, we need to. I can tell, I can tell I'm up. I'm up three or four pounds, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, Fred's been feeding us well. I know. Not all bad food. I mean, it's all tastes good. It's just not, yeah. the caloric That's intake, good. Michael. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right, I gotta get back at it, Mike. I may go grab a snack now that we're talking about food. So, I'm just, Getting ready to, we're gonna couple this together with the other hose there. Um, I'm just shitting it in the pipe for now. But so what I'm doing now is working on the last drop on this side of the wall. So I've gotta put my 90 in here, which is uh, right here. All right, so that's going there. And I gotta measure for our drop to the manifold, get that done. Once this side's done, I'm just waiting on for one, one, uh, one union to get these two hoses connected together. And then I'm gonna start working on that side. And then once this side's done, I get the compressor done, I can finish up the pressure washer area. But Matt's working in there organizing anyway. It's gonna look nice. See this will end up, one in here. I'm not gonna really do much with it yet, but you can kind of get an idea how this will look. It's gonna look like that. You know, Fred has some good taste. He, uh, I know we spent a lot of time, even before he talked to us, probably like planning out what he wanted it to look like. It's cool, I like it a lot. I love the beams. The I beams are cool in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's cool. You you didn't catch that, Michael? All the way. In. I made it. What are you kidding? Look, look, go look in there. But look in there and blue, on the top of the bag, there's a little wad of blue tape, Mike. Not if you do. Don't take if you don't cut away. Yeah, you're pretty pretty clever. You managed to make me look like I know what I'm doing, so that is pretty clever. <laughs> yeah, I know it is. You know, I gotta hand it to you, you're, you're good. The way this Prevo stuff works, you have, right, I'll show you. I know I've probably, I've probably mentioned this before, but, so if you stick the pipe in here, right? Let's see. All right, so there's that, right? So if you mark, I already know the dimension, but if you mark it here, right, and you get your measurement, which is, it's roughly, it's about an inch and a sixteenth. I know it's all metric stuff, but if you look there, it's about an, because it's on this side line, so it's about an inch and a sixteenth. It's the same on that end. So if what you do is you take the nuts off and then you just measure from the face of that fitting there, if I can get in here, face of that fitting here to the face of this fitting here. Right, we're at 64 and a quarter. And then we need to add an eighth to that. So, so we're 64 and three eighths. So now I'll cut my pipe 64 and three eighths and that'll, that should fit perfectly. Well, yeah, I couldn't have done that again if I tried it. No, I got it, now I can't get it out, anyway. So that's, that's how I come up with the measurement. So you basically add an inch and a 16th on each end if you measure face to face the fitting. What the heck's holding it in there? It's, <laughs> it's barely caught right here. Anyway. Yeah. So, I got it. Okay, so that's a pretty good tip. Yeah, yeah. So that makes it easier because UPS. it takes the guesswork out. Oh, good. That's our McMaster car stuff. That's excellent, excellent. So I can hook this line up. Nice. Then we can actually bring it through and connect it. All right. A McMaster car, Fred? Sorry? A McMaster car? Norman. Yeah, that's it, McMaster car. That's what Mike I was waiting Figueroa. for. Mike. Oh yeah, this is my re my relay, Figure Figueroa. I'm upgrading the relay in one of the 
new spawn, so. Got it all. So everything we need. High pressure coupling and a uh, pipe plug for the inside there where that valve is. What you got there, Britt? This is, this is uh, Matty oh, yeah. Rice throwaway stuff. It, he's not throwing away the extra screws, is he? Okay, good. All right, just making so, sure. Uh, he's been known to throw away things that are still have some usefulness. Matty is a guy who takes no prisoners on excess stuff. No, he doesn't. He goes for no. high body count, as we say. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. The wash bay that's for future use that this this uh, this plug will go in in there just like that. That way, if someone inadvertently turns the valve on, it won't blow water everywhere. So I'm going to do that. And then this is to join these two hydraulic hoses together, which I'm going to do now and get them through. But in water, you want to use if you can use stainless instead of zinc plating because the zinc eventually wears off and then the ends start rusting. So that's why we like stainless. Yeah, it's pen. I, you know what it is? It's because I hold the cap. And sometimes I miss, like I just did right there. So Put another little dot. It looks like chocolate. Yeah. I thought you might have stuck in another. No, no, we don't have any more, Mike. Yeah. <sighs> I'm sorry. I feel like I'm going to smack the camera if I slip. Yeah, you probably Okay, let's do it over this way then. Good, yeah. The shot's all important, Mike. People want to see tightening of fittings. <clears throat> in our last video, we said comment down below uh, if we should leave all of this in. And what was the end? Nobody was... said no. So... Oh, okay. All right. So I suppose I should just... You're a pretty good judge of what most people want to see, I think. Don't you think? Yeah, it's pretty tight. I'm going to call it Mike. Yeah, I'm, I'm mad at you, not Fred. Fred's fine. Fred did what he thought you wanted which was to have your ice for your iced coffee, which then we heard, I, got to, I have to show the people the size of ice cubes we're talking about. That's fine. They're like that big around, That's fine. right? Yeah. And the ice machine is literally outside my bedroom door. The pump comes on 12 times, Matt, count it. Mike, just tighten the fitting. Just, hey Mike, <laughs> Jesus, don't tell me what to do, Mike. okay? Just, All right. People need to see this. They've been waiting for this footage. Yeah, I know. It is the riveting stuff that people have been waiting for. Yeah, so. You know what was really riveting? Yeah. Is that uh, creme brulee I had last night. Oh, yeah. You said that's one of your favorite desserts. It is, yeah. It yeah. actually is like my You are kind of fancy like that. Yeah, creme brulee. I thought to myself, this is, this is probably Wabaspec dessert here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now, we're going to see if Mike Figuera got his measurements right, having this hose made because I was having to do a little bit of educated guessing. Ooh, that's a, some close figure in there. Oh, I gotta get a wrench. We're good with, man, that was a good guess on the length. There we go. Now I can do my drop. What did I say it was? 67 and 3 eighths. The last connection here with this one. And then I go up and do the, the 90 next. So you notice I'm taking all the blue rings off the trim, the little trim piece that goes on here because it clashes with the green. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think so too. You know, I'm sure you thought about it for quite some time before it actually started yeah. to break ground, you I know? Thought, you know, not, I mean, it was sort of a, I mean, it, it's not, it wasn't just a fanboy thing. It really was iterative, kind of watching what you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. you know, Get some well, ideas, sure, and then yeah. you run with it. Yeah. You know, you see what's possible and then you kind of make yeah. it your own. Yeah. And then I, I was a little worried that you guys wouldn't say, you know, Fred, ah, what are you doing, Fred? What are you with doing? what? The with, sleeving? Yeah, with the, th with the, you know, let's run the pressure. No, I know, like that. Pressurize water right there. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And it's I, good. You know, and no, it's Sorry, great. I just, you know, I'm not a, I, I just can't get my, my head around the hose reels. You know, minimal yeah. hose reel. Yeah. And it just seems to me like just a quick disconnect there where I've got my 
35 foot guy if I'm yeah. going to be washing there. Yep. Yeah. You know, yep. The hose reel makes perfect sense. Sure, there. it does, but not out here it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, if it, it, you know, you want it sleek and clean and not the bulkiness of a hose reel sticking yeah. out. And if you, you know, if you got a 35 foot hose, you can straighten it out, plug it in, use it, and roll, yeah, roll, roll it back up. Yeah, because, you know, I'm going to, yeah. What? One car a week, two cars a week, you know? Uh, yeah, well, judging by your. Your, your fans base around here, you might be yeah, watching yeah. more than that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. Fred has strong towel opinions, so he's, we're going to stick with his. He's not a master collection towel candidate yeah, here. I, I, you know, as you can tell, I've experimented. And, uh, yeah. Although, all right, what's... We can't all be correct, what's, you know. What's the recommendation on a good coating towel, a good low nap? So I like having one low, which is the pearl weave from, yeah. from um, Rag Company, right. and I like having one high pile, which is the creature. Okay. So, but you could use an eagle yeah. as your high pile, and then you just gotta make sure you ditch it, especially an eagle, yeah, because it'll, it'll get real down. crunchy, yeah. you know, it'll get real glassy. Um, so you take, but you don't wanna use an old eagle, because right. you don't want a chance of scratching, so. Um, you know, these are Korean five microfiber is kind of expensive to toss. Yeah. So I would do a creature. I think I saw some creatures in here. Some, yeah. there's a creature right there yeah. in yellow. Okay. So I like having one low in one hand and one high in the other. Do the initial wipe with the high pile and do the final wipe with the low pile. So I'm working through this side. Got that drop done. So I'm gonna work on a manifold, put a manifold right here. Um, and then this, all this Prevo will be done in this room. And I was just looking for Matt and Kyle and they seem to have disappeared. They've been gone for, I don't know, I guess probably an hour or so. I don't know if they're doing some more sightseeing or picking daisies or, you know, maybe having a little special time at the beach or something. I'm not so sure. I, I don't know yeah, what's going on. Yeah, Matt, yeah. Maybe, maybe Matt got a little, like, I want to see some sights too. So they left, I guess. Because the truck and trailer are here. So I know they didn't make a dump run, at least I can tell. Or as I can tell, Mike's, or Matt's bike is still here. Yeah, so he didn't go to the gym. No, no gym. So anyway, we'll just, we'll just pick up the slack, right? Yeah, we'll just keep working. Do, you know? We'll just pick up the slack. Yeah. Yep, and Fred got us a nice lunch. That was a good sandwich. It was really good. What'd yeah. I got the one that was roasted, turkey, prosciutto, uh, avocado with a vinaigrette, a balsamic vinaigrette like on it, and some greens. It was really good. Yeah, it was really good. Let's see. Yeah, I want them the same. I mean, yeah, so I need to move about an inch and a half that way. I just want them the same. You know, so here's, here's the trick. When you're trying to move a laser level on the floor and you only have to move it a little bit, you put your hand next to it and kind of roll your finger into it just slightly. Because if you try to pick it up and move it, you, yeah. it's difficult to move that, sorry. So you just kind of add a little bit of pressure and it, it'll move just a little bit like that. Just a little dot right there. I have, or I probably got marked off my face. You know what I do is I don't feel around for it. I just go to stab it in the cap and you just hit my face. I went ahead and went ahead, Mike. So simple. I just held it up there. 
I put a level, put my little level across the top of here, you know, to make sure we're pointing the right direction. Laid it out with a Sharpie, and then we just uh, put in some drywall anchors and uh, tighten it down. So I'd like doing this first, setting the manifolds and then plumbing to it. Cause that way I have a dimension I can get from the end of fitting to end of fitting. Makes it easier. But I, see, I know where I want this to be, so I'm not gonna rely on where my plumbing lands, mm -hmm. you know, I, cause I'll put this right where I want it and plumb to it. Yeah, no, that makes total sense, but like if I was trying this, you wouldn't. I would try to make it up. Yeah. Cause you would call Wabanita in for reinforcements <laughs> and say, babe, does this look right? And she would not she would tell not. stories. She would say, no, no. we're going to fix it. She gives you the straight. I like that. Yeah. Maureen would give me the same straight. I just, that's why I'm, that's why I'm so uh, anal about what I do because I have quality control crew yeah. around me at all times. <laughs> that's what it is. Exactly. <laughs> QC. That's it. I actually like it without the blue. I mean, if it was blue, if we had blue plumbing, I would leave them on, but it actually looks clean even without them. Yeah, that does and I think that I really just think this is a trim. I don't know that this serves much of any purpose because when the nuts are on and you fully compress, it, they don't, it doesn't contact this. I think it's literally just to take up that space to look cool. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't see any other purpose for it. So if that's in, then we'll put this in because this actually goes in and you tighten this down. There, I bottomed out. And see, there's still a little room here. Like, it's not compressing against this, so I, I have to think this is just to trim this out and look, which it does look nice if you have this color piping. Matt had mentioned that you could put Prevost in the wall. Well, I'm not saying you couldn't, you shouldn't, because the fittings are now not accessible and they're not like a solder joint fitting. If I was gonna do something in the wall, I would do copper everywhere, stub out with, uh, female, you know, and then like a drop ear 90 on the back side that you could thread Prevo into and just maybe do a little 90 in with the Prevo fitting and put a manifold. I don't think I would do Prevo inside the wall, but Matt, the other things Matt mentioned, galvanized pipe, you could even do, you know, copper. Um, you could do tubing, some sort of tubing. If you wanted like really get fancy, you could do like some stainless tubing, like with the uh, swedge lock fittings, but that gets expensive. and. To back to your point, Fred likes the way it looks. Yeah, he loves it. If it doesn't work for you and you don't like how Prevo looks, then don't put it in your wall. He, he's in put it on your the, wall. The thicker one over there. Yeah, he likes it a lot. That's uh, that was a good good exercise for me. I hadn't done the two inch yet. I'd done some inch and a half in my old job, but yeah, two inch looks cool. I think it, I think it's nice. You can see just a little bit of hose dropping through it. It's a nice little nice feature, Mike, nice touch. as you would say. There's enough talking, Mike. There's too much talking. Yeah. All right, so well, that's done. We're to call it for today, Mike. I think we're good. <laughs> they're still not here, by the way. It's been about two hours, and they're still not here. I know. What's going on? No, it hasn't been two hours, though. It was only an hour and five minutes ago. <laughs> it's been an hour and five, hour and ten, though. Yeah. And they didn't, I didn't get any. Did you get a message that they were leaving? No, 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 no. It was much like last night when you guys left. <laughs> Mike, I told you we were going to dinner. Don't give me that guilt trip. No, I have no messages. Yeah. That's I have one from Mike Waba. It says, mm -hmm. Let's read it. nothing. Show the people. I said yesterday it was, I could go later in the day for some cinnamon rolls. <laughs> then you reminded me, they close at four. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, there they are. They must have done something fun. Just doing fun stuff with that. Just a couple of, just, we're just, that's all right. No, we didn't want to go. No, it's okay, we're good. So this is pretty typical of every garage. Um, it, it, this seems like it's not a big deal because we have all of the, you know, all the assembly and all that stuff that we're working on, all the transformation, and cutting floor and Mike's custom stuff and mounting cabinets. But then you have to put stuff in the cabinets. 
Uh, and when you don't have an exact location, when you're starting from scratch, there's quite a, quite a bit of thought that goes into it. And so uh, the thing I struggle with is that this isn't my garage and uh, I want to set it up like it's my garage. Uh, but I, I, you know, my own garage, if you think about it, oftentimes it takes you months to like get it things where you want it to go. And so I, I stress out a lot, of, uh, I stress out about this. I did the same thing at Adam's house. Like I need to get it perfect before I leave because I'm not going to be here again. But you know, then I have to remember it isn't my garage, it's Fred's garage, so he can handle that. Uh, but we want to get them off on a good start. Uh, and so uh, we went through all the microfiber towels. We're discarding or you know, donating a bunch of the towels that you know, he's been buying and trying. He's found certain, certain types that he likes. Um, we're going through all the detailing equipment, all the different polishing and, and car washing stuff. Uh, you saw us go through the Milwaukee. Uh, and so now just kind of fine tuning. Once, um, once Mike finishes the, the Prevost, we can start to work on, the, on getting the lifts dialed. Um, but Kyle and I have a whole nother day left of um, you know, organization, just organizing all the stuff in one spot. And so well, I guess I can kind of show you the, the cabinets and how we're setting it up here. We still have lots of empty space, but Kyle's been working on this area all day. You know, we got all of the, uh, all the batteries and charging all set up. And we're just trying to make decisions on where do things go. Pads in here. We've got polishers here. And then down here are, would be towels for, for polishing, like excess towels. Those drawers are empty. Did you put anything in your own coating, coating stuff here? You gotta be careful with this. I'm gonna talk to Fred about this. You gotta be careful buying too many coatings because they do have a shelf life. And so unless you can be, you know, unless he starts to go pro here, a lot of these coatings are gonna go bad because they have a you know, shelf life of say, you know, a year to two years, depending on you know, conditions. So I think we're gonna get, work on the interior stuff now. So we're kind of gathering up the rest of the remaining chemicals. So, you know, Fred, again, Fred's been living out of suitcases for a while as you know, this, so this whole wall was filled with all kinds of bins. So you can see we're kind of working through one step at a time. So this is all the interior stuff. I'm gonna go through that. Um, there's some more towels. Yeah, I don't know what to say other than we're just working through it. It's, it's, it, it doesn't seem like much from your, I'm sure from the camera's vantage point, but there's, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of different individual things. So you have tools, detailing, like around the house tools, and then car washing. And, uh, and then just you know, other random stuff you end up in the garage. And we're trying to help them come up with a system here. So that's what we're working on. Okay, it's done, Michael. Have you noticed I start calling you Michael? So what I'm gonna do here, it's gonna be fairly simple. Get a 90, come to the inside corner, 90, and then 90 down, and stop right about here. And then I have a, a flex whip that we're gonna go from compressor up to the uh, Prevost. This is what you were trying to describe in the previous video. And I yeah. Think that makes no sense at all. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I said 90 and then 90 <laughs> and 90 down. You're like, I don't know, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, now it makes sense. I yeah. can see it. That's because you're, you're in here. You're a visual guy. I, I can see that. Well, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, uh, this has got to go. This is not the best. This is not a level. You go this way and this, it's, it's, it's not accurate at all. So I'm sorry. We have two Milwaukee levels though that you have now, and and torpedo level that happens to be magnetic. So you're good. I have to watch you walk and put that in the trash because it won't fit in your drawer. I know it won't. All right. Yeah. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna hide it. <laughs> I'm just gonna lay this out. I'm gonna drop this one right about here. Okay, so I'm gonna get my, uh, I'm gonna get my level and go from Clamp to clamp, I'm gonna mark these. I may only need, I'll probably do two. I'll probably do one there and one here. And then 90 right after this. Okay. So I'm gonna get my level, that way I can mark this. How are we looking here, Michael? <sighs> Last manifold. Is this, uh, what is this, 15 amp 240? <laughs> uh, well, the plug is a 
20 amp, 240. I don't know what it actually draws. <laughs> it's sound just like a rice maker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is this thing even doing? What noise could that possibly have to do with ice? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a meat grinder, it's a freaking ice maker. And it cycles, it goes Yeah, 12, 12 in a minute. And then it sounds like someone literally just dump rocks into a bucket. It's horrible. <laughs> I'm like, I, you know what I'm thinking in my head? I freaking wobble needed to ice. I know that's what it is. I knew it. Because <laughs> uh, you never heard it the first night. I think you were taking a shower. I went and turned it off. I must have been because that's the first time I'd heard it. Well, I was kind of out of it. Like, that's what me I'm too. Like, no, I know I turned it off. I'm like, why is it? Why is it doing that? I'm like, I don't know. Whatever. Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Mike's closer. It doesn't yeah. yeah, yeah. You, I was closer. All right. It's right, literally right in his ear. <laughs> and the ice cubes are like golf balls. Yeah, yeah, they are. Really you can put your finger through it. Yeah. Really nice. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and our pad's going here. Check it out. Interior. <coughs> Polishing. Prep. OG leather scent. I don't know where to put that yet. Microfiber cutting, foam pads. Kyle likes his weird bins inside of drawers, which I hate, but I'm gonna let him do it well, anyway. Like, we need something, otherwise all the stuff's gonna fall all over the place. Mm -hmm. and just be strewn about. I would just manage my drawer opening, but then Mike comes in. <laughs> <laughs> speed, speed walk. That's, that's what <laughs> God, my drawers, everything's. Yeah. Did you hear any of that, Mike? Oh, I heard. It's the same old story. I don't think Mike breaks the drawers, though. Michelle breaks the drawers, and she can't fix them. If Mike does break them, I don't know, because he fixes it before I come back. I'll give him that credit. There's a bit of exaggeration that comes on with that story. <laughs> Uh, the thing, the thing that, that is true is that I don't know where his stuff is because he organizes, and I have to, I, I don't know, where, so I have to open every drawer to find it, and he, he doesn't like the opening and closing. It drives him crazy. I get that. He thinks the velocity of the drawer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, the yeah, speed, and yeah, it's, it's the, uh... They're soft clothes, mind you. <laughs> what is? The drawers. Yeah, well, it's close them soft. They, I don't have to. They do it themselves. Damn. They do it themselves. It's like, we, we need a screwdriver. Uh, I'd have, if you're interested, I have the the tank version, the big tank version. Um, big, I'll sell to you at cost. You know, so Fred has it here. Um, I think, I think it's like, you know, it's in the threes, in the three thousand dollar range, something like that, for a six thousand dollar compressor. Um, so hit me up if you're, if you're interested. It's the, uh, think about my, remember the one in, in um, that I used to have with the tanks on top? And, but it's, it's not the white one, it's all dark, dark gray. It's the same thing as this, which just has an 80 gallon tank. Is it an 80 or a 60? It might be a Probably 60. closer to 60. Yeah. But it's still like a 53 decibel, quiet, rotary screw compressor that I need to sell. So if you're interested, hit me up. We'll give you a sweet deal. Even better if you come pick it up. I'll give you an even sweeter deal if you just come get it. Yeah, it's in Southern Central, Southern California, wherever the heck we are. Santa Barbara area. Okay, so now, lastly, there's a, there's a hose somewhere around. So a nice backdrop. I mean, nice. it, I was looking at watching the video last night because you're I had to wa I had to witness your amazing editing skills. Wow, thank you, thank you. you know, seriously. Anyway, um, it looks so stark in some of the older. It looks so different now. Yeah. You know, it was so plain. So we need one more fitting down below. So, 
end up going into here. I'm glad I could, glad we could do this together. <laughs> right in there. So I think that's it. The air system's done, except for the receptacle. Michael, did you turn the hot tub on? No, unfortunately, you just had to drill some holes. Michael, shut up. We're gonna huh? miss out on our dinner hour time. Where's my earmuffs? I need my earmuffs. Uh, there they, they are. To eat a stinky old steak. You guys got a plan for food tonight? I had a plan, and Mike's throwing in the dumpster. <laughs> Sorry. Tacos. You guys can take off. I'll do it. Taco Tuesday. They close at 8 p.m. at 7.01. Tacos. Tacos in my belly. That's what it's called. Taco Rita. Uh, I'm drilling holes, Mike, in the concrete for the lift. So I just hit rebar there. So I did buy long bolts, but I'll, I can clip them off. So I'm not gonna spend time. That's already like at least four inches th deep there. So I'm just gonna, I've got 36 of them to drill. Um, both lifts take, all, all three lifts take six each. Today, day seven? Yeah. Day six. Day seven. Day seven. It's a wrap. Yeah. Yep. We're going to rush out here, go get some tacos. I'm completely off the wagon. Yeah. All those new fancy jeans I bought, I might as well just throw them away. No, you'll fit into them again. Give yourself yeah, a couple it's only weeks. Been two, two days, three days of. Yeah, you'll be fine. Not, not, not horrible, but could be better. So, what's, what's left to do is with the anchor bolts are all drilled, just drilled 36 holes. Got the anchor bolts to put in. Um, I'm going to have to slightly massage the ramps <laughs> they don't quite they're a little tall the, mm -hmm. the lifts are perfect they fit flush the ramps are a little high all the air systems completely done all um, you have to do is put the plug on the compressor yeah, put a plug on a compressor and then uh, focus on the pressure washer tomorrow um, and no, supply side okay. um, so tomorrow will be the last episode of the build vlog yeah i think so yeah, there's going to be a little odds and ends touch-up painting, um, a little more organization. No, we need to got to get a plug for it. So Matt and Kyle have been organizing cabinets. It's looking good. We'll show people in the next episode. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, all the uppers are done today. We got a lot done. We get a lot done every day. That's just yeah. Oh, that's right. Say. We did. We installed that's one, implied. two, three, four, five, six, seven uppers. Something today. like that. Yeah, in the uh, wash bay. Yeah. And Mike, you uh, spent the day chasing us around and editing. That's pretty much what I did. Every day. Yeah, it's a good job. Yeah. We'll good see you job, guys Mike. tomorrow. Right. Okay. It's coming together. Remember, Let's Thursday. It. Mike, Thursday morning. Yeah? What's the plan Thursday morning? Cinnamon rolls. Oh, is oh. It? So they're not open tomorrow, huh? No, they're not. They're open. They're closed Tuesday, Wednesday. I might even go with you. I think you should. We're going to need to. I think you should just at least see what the bakery looks like. I'm going to go just full out. Give me, give me, a, give me a dozen. I'm going to be sick on the way home on Wednesday. You can leave Thursday. us your credit card. We'll bring you some home. All right. Let's go okay. get some tacos. Let's go.